So the school year is winding down, but Ohio volleyball is gearing up for fall of 2016. Hi there, my name's Jake Kermada for Bobcat TV, and I'm here with Dean Webb, head coach for Ohio volleyball. And coach, spring for you guys is basically just experiment time. Yeah, it's, I think experiment's probably a good word for that. Some days you, you put all the, the ingredients in, the experiment turns out to be really good, and some days you do it and you're like, well, maybe let's use a different ingredient next time. You know, that's just, that's just part of it with a young team. You know, the one thing we share with our team all spring is that, is that the variance between our good days and our bad days is just going to be wider right now. And we did have some really, really good moments and we had some moments that weren't as good. You know, but that's part of it. The, the kids, every one of them, they're working hard, they're improving. Uh, many of our kids made big, big gains over in the weight room and gains in the, on the court. And so we're happy with, with things that happened, uh, but certainly experiment was a, was a good word and not always knowing what we were gonna be on any given day. And the experiments that we might see going into the fall of 2016 and individually who made those big gains? Well, I think there, there were several kids I think that jump out. I think Brooke um, in the gym, I think it's just a much, much different player, even though she's one of our older players. She is a rising senior and uh, just an excellent, excellent player for us. She has made big strides in service Eve. And in this spring, she really, um, she, she earned the Libro role for us this spring, first time for her doing that, and did a really, really good job. I think we've had some other kids. Um, Simone has made some significant physical gains that we're starting to see on the court as well. Um, she's really young, you know, and, and so she will have moments that are really high, and then some moments where she's still back in the, in the learning phase. Uh, that's normal for young players. But, for example, she's a kid from Michigan, and she hit 250 against Michigan State. You know, we played on this spring, and, and that's something that she couldn't have done had she not put in the work over there. And there are a number of our kids. You can just tell they're, they're getting stronger, they're playing higher, they're getting better in here. I think one of the other things that I really was impressed by a couple of our returning starters is that, like Mal and Jamie, they each had a weakness that they needed to work on to help our team get better. Mal had to become a better blocker. And she'd been a DS when she started here. Didn't really spend a lot of time blocking. And she was learning how to swing block. And we didn't know, is this really going to transfer to games? And by the end of the spring, it was happening. And it was happening all the time. And it was happening at a very high level. Jamie, the skill that has probably held her back, historically has been passing. And she's worked significant, I mean, just so much time, you know, on, on this spring on that. Uh, Maggie's worked with her on that. And they've really got her to a place that, that's good. And so she had a really, really good spring passing. And so to see two key starters improve the one area of their game that was holding them back, that really translates to helping the team move forward. So coach, when you and I concluded the season uh, 2015, when I, when I asked you, you know, what is the future gonna look like? And you said, well, it's gonna look very different. So how different is it really gonna look come the fall of 2016? Well, there are, I think there are a couple of freshmen that we'll probably need to play right away. And so that, that's part of it. Um, you know, we'll, we'll get to preseason and we'll figure all that out and kids will compete at every position. I think we are probably a good way to describe this team, and this has not been anything negative to any of our current players, but the reality is our, our top three players probably aren't as good as our top three players a year ago. And again, that's no, nothing negative to the kids we have right now. We graduated three kids that have been multiple time all-commerce players. Uh, two of them have been defensive, or one defensive player of the year, one player of the year. Another one would have been Defensive Player of the Year, except for the other kid was on our team. I mean, I think it could be said that Karn and Mayer were the two best defensive players in the conference. And it's not, it's not easy, it's not possible to replace those kids exactly. And so we're not asking our kids to replace them. We're asking them to be the best version of yourself. And you don't need the pressure of trying to be the next Abby or the next Mayer or the next Karn. Be the best version of yourself. And so losing that group of five seniors and what they contributed uh, is a big change you know, to us. Um, and so maybe if our top three aren't as good as our, our top three a year ago, um, our bottom three, our bottom six, our bottom eight, our bottom ten are all significantly better than a year ago. And so I think we will, as a, as a unit, move together forward through the season and improve. And I think by the end that should translate to being a very, very good team with more people being able to contribute. Mm -hmm. I think the group that we have coming in in 2016, the freshmen, uh, we don't have any kids that are really raw, that, that are really new to volleyball, whereas we did this last year, and we will in 17. And, and so when you when you have that, there's just there's some early season moments that are just eyes wide open. Wow, this game is fast, and this game is different, and we won't really experience that as much this fall. And so I think we can start at one level, but then progress pretty quickly from there. All right, Coach, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it right. as always. Thank you. For Dean Webb, my name is Jake Kermada. This is Bobcat TV.